Hi everybody, um, I have in this video a couple of um, Minchiati Fiorentine um, decks to share with you. Tarocco Fiorentino, so a Florentine tarot. Is this tarot Florence style, I'm thinking? Mm. Because I acquired them mainly for collecting and for reference purposes, I don't actually use them. Actually, I don't actually, well, I use them, but I don't actually play with them. I use them as a reference, reference deck, reference decks. These are the only two kind of um, Minchiati uh, Fiorentine that I have. Um, I was supposed to acquire another, um, another one, another version that was from Il Manigello as well. And some of you will know it's really similar to this and I traded a deck for it a couple of years ago and the other party um, thought that this is what we were talking about so when she sent it over I realized that she she mis has mis she had mistaken this one for the one we were talking about because they're so similar and I actually already have this so now I have two of this um, particular version both from Il Manigello and this one here I, I'm going to trade one of these at some point of mine because I don't really need to um, I don't play with them so they don't really get used a lot it's just for literally reference purposes for now this one here is another one by I believe it says here it's reworked by Constanta Constantini and so Terra Garden which I will link below said that this is actually a modern rendition by him so um, I'm not quite sure what reworking means because it's not like the Marseille tarot that we have like Flor Noir for example he reworked old images so in a sense he created those so I'm wondering if this is created by this guy over here from scratch or whether this was um, inspired or based on actual deck I don't know so let's have a look on the inside First, um, let me show you this one here. I was going to compare them side by side, but they're just two different designs, basically, um, of, of the same system, of the same kind of game. Um, so this one here is by Il Manigello. You've seen this in my other video before when I was talking about the time, old man time here. And interestingly, you see there, it's a bit glossy, not glossy, but it is not the kind of um, thick art paper textured, a type of cardstock that Il Manigello is known more recently. This is waxy uh, and it's very um, matte but it's quite smooth. Uh, it's very yeah it's one of those waxy cardstock that you can find on from printer studio or make plain cards. There you go. And so I've cornered it a little bit here with the smallest corner rounder that I have as part of a set of three in one which is quite nifty is that Japanese corner rounder that everybody rather liked so originally it came like that and you can see here it's Ilmanagelo 1986 um, the back is like so Etruria I wonder if Etruria is the publisher. I, again, I don't know much about Minchiari. Um, my study with older decks sort of grind, ground to a halt a few years ago, and now it's just starting again. So that's the back. Los Garabeo have um, published the same deck as well, I believe. Um, but I think it's out of print now, I'm not sure. It has a book, which is a big plus because that book would have been really helpful because I think this one is all in Italian. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'll put that in. Um, just do a quick flip through of this one here. So that's number two and number four. So that's the Emperor in our conventional terror and two would be the High Priestess or the Popess, I'm thinking. And she's some kind of an empress there. So I'll put a link about Minchiari um, down below. I'm just going to flip through really quickly. That's the magician there. It's definitely a street 
Hustler there. Strength. Hangman. 25. This is the seasons, I think. 23. Card 23. Card 24. Libra. 35. Gemini. 22. That's one of the seasons. That's 19. I think she's one of the virtues. 33. That's probably Leo. Twenty-seven Scorpio. The fool or the mad person, the mad one. Cancer, thirty. That's an interesting stamp. Carte de Etruria. Yeah, I think Etruria is the publisher. Please uh, let me know down below. Um, I could easily Google this, but I am not inclined to because uh, it's. It's probably the star. That's the cover of the Los Scarabio edition with the book. 20 fire, I'm thinking. 28. 10. 34. 21. 18. In the background is Claire de Lune by Debussy, As I will put the link below, it's copyrighted and with permission. So that's the tower, I believe. Temperance. What number is that? Six? Is that six? 27. 29. Sagittarius, I'm thinking. Wheel of Fortune, 13 Death. Pisces, 31. 17, another virtue I'm thinking, 32. 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, yep. 15. Um, in Terror Garden, you'll see a, a variety of other kinds of Minkiati decks with different designs, but the structure is the same. Um, and then you have the so-called pips or miners. I don't think these are in order. I've played with them. I sort of shuffled them around. Some people um, sort of quote unquote convert this into the usual, the normal, or the terror that we understand and use it like that. Others study this for what it is and use it that way. Apparently, Minchiati is very close to Taro Bologna, Bolognese Terror. And from what I understand, Bolognese Tarot um, has the number, what, two to five eliminated or something? But they seem to have one all the way to ten, so maybe that's been supplemented. I don't know. Again, as I said, I haven't really researched this. Um, I've just started getting back into historical tarot again in the last... I don't know, a few months, May, June, July, so in the last three months or so. Um, feel free to comment below um, at some point when I have um, fulfilled my other obligations. I might, I might get into it a bit more. Now I'm, I just now I'm simply wanting to show you the deck. So this is the one by Constante Constantini. It is from the 80s and it had come in a sort of this wooden box. Um, there's a bit of separation along the joints. I think this one here came off a little bit just now. I had to push it back. It's 1980, Milan, and it's the Celione edition. It's starting to come in a box like that. I think this is all going to be in Italian as well. Yeah.
So the owl slowly on at the back there. It's in perfect condition. I am really, really glad. Looks like this is not in order. Looks like this has been shuffled as well. This reminds me of um, those uh, French decks, those woodblock um, Marseille. Marseille and all the, um, you know, um, on such, such, the art is uh, very much like that. This is strength, justice. Put the lid here so that you know what we're looking at. So now we're looking at this one here. Oops. Sometimes I feel I, I need um, a bigger setup here, but uh, yeah, anyway, can't quite justify any expansion of production at the moment. This channel is but a mere hobby. Not all the time, I mean. There's some serious personal stuff there too, but you know what I mean. In this case, this is a deck collecting. This particular one is a deck collecting video. Um, so, as I've mentioned in my other video, I'm feeling a little, things have been a little tense lately for me in my personal life. And so I found going through beautiful things to be very relaxing and I thought you guys might like it too so here I am these are the virtues I believe so according to Terror Garden let me have a look at the website here it says that designer is Constante Constantini country of publication is Italy number of cards um, 97 as all Minchiati decks um, seems to have 97 cards, consists of 97 cards, publication years 1980. Publication status here is limited edition of 2000 copies, so it doesn't actually say out of print, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know if this is out of print or not. Um, and yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're printed any more than that, but so in that sense, it's out of print, isn't it? Um, but whether they're still available from the publisher or not, I'm not sure. I got this from eBay, definitely from a third party seller. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. So that's Pisces. I mean, this deck could have been produced, you know, last month. Uh, the cardstock is more in keeping with the kind of cardstock that we have from, um, Il Melegello now and uh, some of these self-published decks like um, Sullivan's if there's grainy it feels like it's not laminated but I'm sure it's coated with something for its protection and it's highly textured it feels like thick um, watercolor paper let me try and focus this for you there it is see the grain there and it's sort of thick. Hold on a second. There it is. Yeah. Very nice. I really like it. So that's um, that version of the guy with the star that um, in this deck form the cover of Los Carabeos edition. This a moon is very much like the one from, if you remember the Via Bill, 
but the guy is, um, the astronomer is under the stars instead of the moon. So that's something interesting to, to investigate, you know, that kind of, it's just fascinating. That's a fool being taunted by children. The aces. That would be the knight, the page, or the maid, um, queen, and king. You can hear that whoosh, whoosh, whoosh um, card against each other. I've always thought Etruria was some kind of city, and I think Minchiari Fiorentine, it's um, Florentine Tarot, and so Etruria is the publisher. This one is Solione, 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 Edizioni del Solione. It's a tower. The knight, that's one of the virtues, I think. Maid, page, knave, coin, Gemini, the empress, is that Leo? That's the one looking at a crown being thrown at him. This is interesting. These would be the lovers. Love even brings brings even kings of kings down to his knee. Is that what that's about? Do you think? That's uh, I'm sure that's um, Romulus and Romulus there. Is that not from the myth of the birth of Rome or something? Three swords. Interesting. Sun. Couple sitting around happily contented. So that is the Minchiari Fiorentine by Constantine Constant Constant Constantini by Soleone and um, this one here is Etruria Etruria's version of the Minchiari Fiorentine by Il Menegallo in the 1980s both from the 1980s Thanks for watching. Bye.